Hey yo, welcome everybody to the full release version of Forger. Shout out to the people at Hot Frog for hooking it up with a key code and an early, you know, access to the actual release of the game. We're gonna get in, we're gonna play it. I haven't played this game since an earlier beta, which was a couple months ago. So I'm very excited to see what kind of goodies and new stuff is added in. But yeah, let's hop right in. So hopefully the game is pretty similar to how it was when I first played, like, you know, mechanics wise when it comes to mining and stuff. I don't know though. Maybe I should be doing something here instead of just like mining normally. Maybe I should be hitting a roll. How do you roll? Space. Mine and then roll. Oh, y'all see the moves? Oh, I'm kind of hitting some moves right now. I'm not going to lie. But yeah. So the goal right now is to level up. That's how I remembered from playing the OG version or the version I played is to mine stuff, level up. And then when we level up, we get some gold and that gold allows us to expand our islands and, you know, get more and more land. And on some of those islands that we open up in the future, we'll start to be able to see new things. You know, there's like new biomes and stuff like that. So, well, we'll see what we run into. And the last time I didn't get to explore too much because obviously I was in a beta version. So I didn't really get to see too many things. Where, do you, where are the berries at? How do you eat these? Do you just go like this? Okay. I thought there was a hot bar or something. But let's get started by building a furnace. Uh, Don't tell me what to do. I know what I'm doing. All right. But yeah, we're about to level up in a second so let me just mine this last ore and this should level us up i think this gives us four yes sir there you go we hit level two i'm noticing these little like white tiles on the floor right here i don't know if we get a shovel and we can dig this up or what but those look pretty ominous they look like they might have something to do with something i don't know what that something is but they have something to do with something how do you do this stuff again <laughs> how do i level up what button did it say I have no idea. Skill points one. Uh, see, look, this is exactly what I was talking about. Oh, here we go. Boom. What should we get? So, there should be a lot more abilities now because the game. This is a full release version. So let's go probably with foraging. Would be the smart thing to get. I think. I don't know. We're early game still. So yeah, let's do foraging. We hold it down to learn it. Boom. And this opens up a couple more stuff that we can get once we level up again. But yeah, I don't know if we're going to take a different route. I don't even remember the route I took last time. If I focused all on one tree or if I went all over. I think I went all over the place. I don't think it really matters too much. Unless you're obviously specifically trying to get something done. Because some skills, if you learn some skills, they allow you to craft some certain things. So that's like the reason why you'd want to focus on getting them. But how much money do we have? We still don't have money. Okay, so we are going to have to build a furnace. Even though I, I said, don't tell me what to do. It's all good. You know, I wanted to build a furnace. Like, I wanted me, myself, to build a furnace. And not the game to tell me to do it. Because we need to get this gold right here. And uh, how do we get gold, you ask? Aha, uh, uh, uh -huh, this is how you get gold. This is exactly what I was going to tell you guys and how to get it. It spawns naturally. Duh, come on. I, I didn't know that, actually. I, I'm, I'm not kidding. I I swear to God, I knew it spawned. I pretty much mined like everything. Uh, of course, two trees pop up as they say that. But yeah, right now we're smelting iron because we're going to use the iron to make a forge. And then with the forge, hopefully we're going to be able to get our hands on some new tools. And also, hopefully we're going to be able to craft the coins in the bottom left corner. I think that's coins. I don't know. Golden doubloons, something like that. But yeah, with those coins though. We will be able to purchase some new islands and hopefully see some new things. Boom, I hit level three. Let's go ahead, let's spend these points. See what kind of goodies we can get our hands on skills wise. So obviously there's gathering. Gain four more inventory slots, which is good. Uh, gain 25% more XP from plants and crops. That's already a plus right there with the inventory slots. I might get it. Lock steel and glass. Like, do we even need that yet? Instantly gain 40 coins? <gasps> That's pretty good. I think we might go with this one. No, I'm not the greedy sorts, but who doesn't love some money? Am I right? So there you go. There's that. Do these, any of these just give you more slots? Before we just create four extra coins every time. That's actually pretty good. Man, I kind of wanted those four inventory slots though. It's all good. I should buy land and expand. You're right. I should. But first, we will be crafting this. The forge. Wait, I don't have brick. Oops. One, two, three, four. There you go. Let the bricks start smelting up. But yeah, 
Let's go ahead. Ooh. He's got a beat right there. I'm about to eat it. All right, let's go ahead. Let's buy some land. So we had that one cost 60. This one cost 50. Oh, we can only buy one. <laughs> That's all good. That's the one I wanted. Oh, shoot. We got our first enemy pulling up. Come on. Oh, God. That boy faking me out. I was waiting for him to attack for the longest time and he wouldn't attack. But there you go. Those bricks just smelted. So now we can craft the forge, which will put everything on this main island. Boom, bada bing. I probably should have put it in a corner. It would have been smarter. Don't worry about that. Uh, we don't play for smart stuff. We play for fun. Woo! I forgot you actually do this. Check this out. So I'm going to break this. And then watch. You just put your mouse over it. Amazing. I know, right? Makes it so you don't even have to run up, run over everything and pick it up. Like Minecraft and Terrier. You just... Whoop. Oh, there's gold hidden by in here. Look, I, I never would have known that. Never would have known that. Yo, I'm very interested about those white stones. Am I hitting the slime? Apparently I was. I'm very interested about these little white slabs right here. I'm either onto something or I'm thinking too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's either something behind those little slabs if we dig it up with a shovel, or there's just too much in my mind. I don't know. We're going to figure it out, all right? But in the meantime, should I even craft this yet? Or should I? Ooh, I should wait. I should wait until I level up again. I think that'd be the smart thing to do. But yeah, you may be wondering, like, what the heck is that building right there? Why don't you go inside of it? All right, we're going to go into it. If you haven't watched the beta or my beta gameplay, or haven't seen any gameplay of this game, but you're new to the game in general, pretty much what this whole area is, as you can see, there's a bunch of pedestals in front of all these, like, types of uh, themes, mining, building, archaeology. There's all these pedestals in front of these traits, themes, whatever you want to call them. And pretty much what you do is we're going to hit E on, say, mining. Pretty much you donate stuff and put them on these pedestals and once you hit this certain amount they'll obviously pop up on the pedestal and the goal is to fill it all up so this does take a long time this does indeed take a long time see we'll we'll put some stuff in here already like there you go i put some in farming put some flowers 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 in foraging and uh you know slowly add up our collection i'm not gonna add too much right now once we get to a certain point i will but let's talk to the npc welcome to the museum our collections are rather incomplete at the moment. Feel free to help me fill the bundles. You will get a reward for each one completed. So yeah, you get a chest when you complete them and a super special reward if you complete them all. I don't know what the super special reward is. I've only completed like one or two of them during the beta. So I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what it is. I might just give up all the flowers, honestly. The flowers, they're not really too useful to me right now. Same thing with the wheat. I mean, we can make bread, but I think we need to get certain stuff for that. But yeah, I'm going to work on leveling up off camera. And hopefully once I level up, we will get that uh, coin thing. And then with the coin upgrade, you know, the one that allows more coins to be produced, we will hopefully be able to buy another island. All right, we have leveled up to level four. Just mined a bunch of trees. If you guys notice, every time you mine stuff, your hunger bar does go down. So you do have to eat fairly constantly so hopefully i don't run out of food anytime soon but yeah we're gonna make the coin we're gonna get the coinage uh perk here or skill so the forges create four extra coins and to make coins we need gold and then we take the gold turn them into coins this will help us get more and this will help out a lot in terms of uh just being able to expand our islands in general but there's also this slimy pickaxe i do want to get my hands on so we do have to smelt eight iron ingots too so I will be doing that, working on getting that slimy pickaxe off camera. Okay, so there you go. The slime pickaxe has been crafted. This is a speed upgrade, I believe. Damage is increased by 75%. Gain 50% more jelly when killing slimes. I actually don't know if it's a speed upgrade, but I, uh, does it feel faster? I, I don't know. Placebo effect? I, it might feel faster because it's new, but I have no idea. We get more damage, which is not bad at all, but we haven't really ran into too many enemies. There has been a good amount of slime spawning here and there, but uh, they're kind of weak enemies. They don't really do much. I haven't had one really jump at me besides that first one. But yeah, we have 46 coins, as you can see. We're pretty much just waiting for some golden ore to spawn. Oh, speak about the slime. Boom, two hit them now. I think we three hit them or four hit them before. But yeah, we're waiting for gold to spawn. Unless, is there an island that costs 46? Oh, we have more land we could choose from. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, we can't really afford these ones. So we're, we're looking at these ones. 60, 50, 80. So 50 would be our next best bet. Pretty much we want more islands early game right now because we need more areas for 
uh, ores and stuff to spawn. Pretty much is what I'm looking. That's how I'm looking at it right now. More islands, more area for ore and other things to spawn in. Potentially more loot. I don't know if some cool spawns in there, but yeah, we'll we'll see in a second. So I'm about to craft a sewing station right now, and hopefully that allows us to craft something interesting. I don't know. Cause right now I'm just trying to level up and mine gold. Small backpack. See, I don't remember this being in the beta when I played small wallet. I'm guessing these are just basic inventory upgrades and obviously money upgrades. Is there a money cap? There's really a money cap. Didn't know that. Uh, fiber. Let's just do max fiber. Might as well. I'm not using the cotton for anything else. But boom, some gold has finally spawned. This is like the first thing of gold that has spawned. Two. I don't, is that the max they come in or do they come in like three or four i don't know how how much like max drops they have i have leveled up yet again and as you can see these drop 12 coins per a uh per, what are these called 12 coins per crafting thing i don't know what to call it but yeah let's level up hopefully some, one of these will help us out here in terms of uh getting more coins because right now we're on the coin grind unlocks markets that's really good because you can sell stuff Locks banks, locks vaults. We don't really need any of that right now. Locks leather. Don't need that. This is always nice. I don't know. If we get this, 25 more XP from plants and crops, they usually give you 1 XP. So, what would you be getting? 1.5 XP? Like, I don't know how that works. But, uh, I don't know. I think I'm feeling the market. We get the market, we get more money. You know what I'm saying? And right now we're on the money grind. The, the story of my life on the money grind. The story of everyone's life, unless you're a millionaire. All right, so we have gotten a decent amount of coinage, like two more gold ore spawn. Uh, the problem with the uh, market and why I haven't crafted is crafted it is you need leather. Well, fuck me. But yeah, we'll, we're go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and buy a piece of land. I don't know which one. We get 60, 50, 80. Ooh, 80. Oh my God. It would be a little ass island. <laughs> what the heck? That means I have to not only build to it, but I have to make a key. But that's fine because we get loot. So I'm, I'm just fine with making a key. The only problem with making a key, as you can see, well, I'm pointing at the screen like you can see me pointing. You require golden ingots, which uh, require us to wait for more gold ore to spawn, which also requires us to pretty much. Oh, you know, I'll take it. It also pretty much requires us to lose money. That one dropped three. Remember earlier I was talking about how it dropped two? That one dropped three. But yeah, this also is introducing building another thing that we're about to build right here. And that is bridges. So we're going to make bridges. How much wood do I have? I don't know. It's kind of off screen. Uh, we had enough wood, apparently. But yeah, no, we're losing money, but it's for a good cause. <gasps> a pig. <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys just noticed, but... Like, am I tripping? I want you guys to rewind the footage. Oh, look at chicken now. But I swear, I swear to God, that pig just made a moo noise. Uh, I might be tripping, but I swear. I swear. I swear I heard it. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have killed the chicken. <laughs> you can hit E on chickens and they drop uh, eggs, which you can use for stuff. Or you can just eat it. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I remember that next time a chicken spawns. All right. I am now crafting the key. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long. Yeah, it's pretty quick. I'm also smelting some uh, coal or creating some coal, charcoal, because I had a good amount of wood. Actually, I didn't really have a good amount of wood because we used it all right here. But let's pretend that I did. All right. You get a lot of wood anyways. Oh, shoot. And we just leveled up. All right. So we're, we're chilling on a lot of things. Specifically, we're about to be chilling once we open up this chest right here. Let's do it, baby. What we got? Top hat. Coins are worth 50% more. Yo. That's like exactly what we needed. So, uh, Forager has the, a bunch of things inside of those chests. And there's also a bunch of loot you can get outside of the chest too from like doing quests for uh, certain NPCs. And they give you passive items. Obviously that you wear on your character too. Much like Isaac, how you get like a passive item that's on your character. Uh, they give you passive items. You see them on your character. And the passive items give you passive upgrades, obviously. And that upgrade was 50% coins are worth 50% more. So that's like really good because that's more islands for us because we had what how many coins do we have before 13 and now we're at 26 so like we're chilling right now actually i don't know how many coins we had i'm, I'm doing the math wrong I, uh, I, so these coins that usually drop 12 are worth 50 percent more boom 
I, I wasn't paying attention. We would have got 36, but we went to 44. So we got 44, we would go to 56, but we go to 62. Beautiful. Beautiful. That 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 upgrade literally couldn't have come in a greater time. Because I feel like early game, you're really scrounging on the money. Because your goal right now is to get that money so you can get some new islands. And then once you get to a certain point where you have a bunch of islands, you can start doing more, you know, like farming stuff, stuff like that. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's look at our skills. I don't know how long this first episode is going to be. But uh, I'll probably end it very soon. So we need leather, right? Unlocks boots and gloves. No, we do not need that right now. Leather. Unlocks leather. Do I even get that yet? Maybe we get this and then next level we get leather. No, I want those four inventory slots really badly. Also, we get a little bit more XP. This is magic. I don't think I've ever done the magic stuff. Oh, we get a shovel if we get that farming thing, I think. I could just check. No, don't worry about it. I'm just going to assume we get a shovel. There's a shovel in the icon. Bro, I've been getting a lot of gold ore spawning. I don't know if this is a sign they want me to get off this island or what. But, uh, you know, I'll take it. Who doesn't love some gold? I also leveled up. So we're going to spend that point. Oh, here we go. E, boom. There you go. I got an egg. Sweet. Now I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I just ate that egg. Imagine that. I'm not even going to say the visual that came to my mind. There's more gold. I'm taking it. We need all the gold we can get. Because we're making big moves out here. I'm trying to buy an apartment and do all kinds of things. <laughs> I've been working on uh, donating flowers to the museum. And I have a good a good amount of flowers. So we might even get a reward from that really soon. So that's really good. Let's go ahead. Let's do three coins. Let's see how much we get from that. Because I think we want to go for a big island. I feel like it would be better if we went for a bigger island. Instead of just like, you know, the next uh, the next best thing. Which would be like the 51 or 61. We want to go big or go home. I don't know if we get anything for giving out eggs. Like putting eggs in the museum. I don't know if they're in there. Uh, oh, there you go. Boom, that's another egg. Add it to the collection. We got 116. So obviously we're going to have to do a couple more coins. Let's go ahead. Let's eat something. We're going to eat these because I want to start donating the uh, beets to the item or to the museum i also can i even oh i leveled up so we can actually do this and start making leather because that's really good we're starting to get a bunch of hide from when i killed a bunch of the animals rest in peace their souls but it was all for a good cause it was all for a good cause we can craft leather now right yep only two do you guys drop leather we're about to figure out okay they don't r.i.p that chicken let's check here though let's check the museum real quick foraging right so flowers i have them at 18 so we might get a reward very soon Ooh, berries maybe i'll do berries all at once okay where do you donate slime i swear i looked around i couldn't find a place to donate slime beets where do beets go farming they do go farming okay so you see i have beets in here i have leather in here eggs yeah toss those in there i don't yeah i have no idea where uh slime goes i don't think slime actually has one this might be spoiler alerts here it's all good <laughs> Just a quick look. Yeah, I don't see anything for slime. Trapping. You could trap stuff. Okay, very interesting. Well, I was assuming you could put uh, f fireflies inside of bottles. As you can see here, I made a bunch of bridges. Uh, don't break that bridge on accident. That would not be smart. But wh what am I trying to do right now? I oh, expand. That's what I'm trying to do. So, like I said, go big or go home. 270, 280. I think, honestly, three. 3,000? Holy. I think we go for one of these. Either the 280 or 271. All right, so we're, we're about to make multiple big moves is what I'm about to say. We're going to buy an island. And not only that, we got a key here. We'd be like, Gamer, what's the key for? Well, there's something here in the museum that I completed. All right. And no, it's not flowers, but we are getting closer in the flower area. And uh, no, it isn't persimmons. I think that's what those were. It's not wheat and it's not beets. But instead it is indeed stone which stone is extremely easy to get your hands on same thing with coal we can actually complete coal but let's do it completed oh you have to complete the whole thing okay see i completely forgot that you had to complete the whole thing i thought it was like one per pedestal but it makes more sense because i was like hold up it's kind of easy but hey we got an extra key anyways so it's all good we're still gonna make a big move here we also have a level up available to us but we're going big. Like I said, go big or go home. <coughs> oh, 
we're going big that, that was my bronchitis acting up i actually don't have bronchitis but r.i.p arthur morgan from left for dead that's the wrong game uh you know who you know who it is if you know what i just said you know what i just said that's a spoiler for a certain game but uh i mean if you haven't played the game by this point honestly like what are you doing do you call yourself a gamer if you haven't played the cowboy game with the number two at the end of it hey we leveled up twice we got two skill points let's do it let us do it all right we can get what is this smelting Ooh, that's pretty good I'm not gonna lie it's pretty good character items sell for 25 percent more coin also really good unlocks boots and gloves uh stealing glass hmm we don't have magic yet i think we should do that yeah let's get this let's get this just to have the four basic ones actually i don't even have this one all right we'll get this too you know we'll get the four basic ones that's it boom bada bing so that should open up a bunch of basic stuff to us but as you can see here there's this island over here now let's go ahead let's build to it Oop. and uh there's a puzzle obviously here <laughs> Oh, I think I did it in the wrong order already. Whatever, just activate everything. Just to reset the puzzle. Maybe I did it the right way. No, okay, so let's look at this here. We're probably gonna have to, I, I got it. I, I already figured it out. Is this one first? This one next. Break this tree, it's in the way. Then this one. And then this one. You may be like, gamers, how did you, how did you know that? Well, since I'm not... Uh, completely stupid just sort of stupid this is a one obviously there's, there's only one thing this is two there's only two things there's three there's only three things and this one's four it's only four things that's how i figured it out didn't even cut the video didn't even look up nothing i i'm a genius i told you but boom i knew i crafted the key for a reason and this was the reason we got us some nerdy glasses xp gain increased by 20 percent. we're getting some good passives Oh, we lost our top hat, though. Are you kidding me? But yeah, I think I'm going to end this first episode off here. I really do enjoy playing this game. I really want to play more of it, so I think I'm going to record some episodes ahead of time. I don't know. Maybe I'll put a like goal on today's episode, and I'll post another one if it hits the like goal. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I'm going to end off this first episode here. Ooh, right as daytime comes. Perfect timing. And uh, I will see y'all in the next episode of Forger. Shout out to Hopfrog, the uh, dev for this game, for letting me get an early code early access code to the full version of the game. Check out Forager on Steam. I have the link in the description. It comes out in like three days, two more days. So get ready for it. It's gonna be a fun game. I enjoy it a lot. So go check it out when it comes out.